Why is maintaining proper form during exercises so crucial, one might ask? Well, the answer is quite simple, yet profound. Proper form is the foundation of all exercises. It's the blueprint that guides each movement, ensuring that you're activating the right muscles and moving in a way that's safe and effective. You see, there's a common misconception in the fitness world that speed and weight are the kingpins of a good workout, but in reality, they're not. They're just pieces of the puzzle. Without proper form, you're simply risking injury and impeding your progress. Think about it this way. Your body is a finely tuned machine, and each exercise is a specific task that machine needs to perform. If you're not using the right technique, you're not only risking damage to the machine, but also not getting the maximum results. So remember form over speed and weight. It's not about how fast or how much, but how well. The squat, a fundamental move in the fitness world, yet so easy to get wrong. Let's break down the quintessential squat. First, stand tall, feet shoulder-width apart. This is your starting position. Now bend at your knees and hips, sinking down as if you're about to sit on an invisible chair. As you descend, make sure to keep your chest up and your back straight. Think of it as puffing your chest out to the sky. At this point, check your knees. They should be in line with your toes. This alignment is crucial to avoid strain or injury. Now push up through your heels, returning to the starting position. That, my friends, is a squat. Performing this movement correctly will engage your core, glutes and thighs. It's a versatile exercise that does wonders for your strength and posture. Keep in mind, your knees should never extend beyond your toes and your back should remain straight. Practice makes perfect, so keep at it and watch your form improve over time. Next up, we have the deadlift, a powerhouse of an exercise. This move is all about strength and power, but it's crucial to execute it with impeccable form to reap the benefits and avoid injury. Let's break it down. Start with your feet hip width apart, toes under the barbell. Bend at your hips and knees, reach down and grasp the bar with a grip just outside your knees. Ensure your spine remains neutral. Think of a proud chest and a natural curve in your lower back. Now here comes the lift. Keep the bar close to your body as you drive your hips forward and stand up. Your shoulders and hips should rise at the same time and the bar should travel in a vertical line. As you lower the bar, hinge at your hips, maintaining that neutral spine. The bar should follow the same path down as it did up. Remember the bar should stay close to your body and the lift should be driven by your hips, not your back. Now let's tackle the plank. A deceivingly simple, yet incredibly effective exercise. You see, the plank is all about stability and endurance, aiming to strengthen your core and improve your posture and balance. Firstly, get down on your hands and knees, then drop down onto your forearms, making sure your elbows are aligned directly below your shoulders. Extend your legs behind you, toes tucked under, as if you're about to do a push-up. Now the trick is to maintain a straight body line from your head to your heels. Imagine a rod running along your spine, keeping everything aligned. No sagging hips or hiking bottoms, my friends. And here's where the real magic happens. Your core. Engage those abdominal muscles like you're bracing for a punch. Hold this position, keep breathing and feel your entire body working in harmony. Remember, quality over quantity. A shorter plank done correctly is far more effective than a longer one with sloppy form. Keep your body in a straight line, your elbows under your shoulders and your core engaged at all times. Even the most seasoned athletes can make mistakes. Let's discuss some common ones. In the world of fitness, form is king. It's the difference between an effective workout and potential injury. Let's dive into some common errors we often see in the gym, especially with the exercises we just discussed. Starting with the squat. A common blunder is the knees caving in. This is a sign of weak glutes and hip muscles. To avoid this, try actively pushing your knees out during the squat. This engages the glutes and hip muscles, promoting a stronger, safer squat. Another mistake is rounding the back during a deadlift. This error can lead to severe lower back injuries. The solution? Keep your spine neutral. Imagine a broomstick running from your head to your tailbone. There should be minimal space between the stick and your back. That's a neutral spine. Next, the plank. It's simple, yet deceiving. One prevalent error is letting the hips sag. 
This puts undue stress on the lower back. Instead, imagine a straight line from your head to your heels. Engage your core to keep your body in this straight line. Another widespread mistake across all exercises is holding your breath. This starves your muscles of oxygen, leading to quicker fatigue. So, ensure you're breathing correctly. Inhale during the less strenuous part of the movement and exhale during the most strenuous. Finally, the most common mistake of all, rushing through your movements. In the pursuit of more reps or heavier weights, we often compromise on form. However, slow, controlled movements are the cornerstone of effective exercise. It's not about how many you do, but how well you do them. And let's not forget, listening to your body is crucial. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Don't push through pain. Instead, take a break, adjust your form, or ask for help. Remember, the key to effective exercise is proper form. Don't rush, focus on your movements, and most importantly, listen to your body. So we've learned a lot today about the importance of maintaining proper form during exercises. We dove deep into the mechanics of the squat, the deadlift, and the plank. Each exercise, when done with the correct form, can be a powerful tool in your fitness arsenal. We also addressed some common mistakes, such as rushing through movements or lifting more weight than one can handle safely. It's essential to remember that speed and weight are secondary to form. When you focus on performing each movement correctly, you ensure your safety and maximize the effectiveness of your workout. Take your time, understand each movement, feel it in your muscles and respect your body's limits. It's not about how quickly you can finish a set or how much weight you can lift. It's about doing each movement right every single time. Remember, fitness is a journey, not a destination. Take your time, focus on your form and the results will come. Until next time, stay fit and stay safe.